Hey there, Roots of Peace Yogi. Welcome to another practice. Today's is Cultivate Joy. My name is Chelsea. This is Luna with her super special Christmas hoodie on, which takes a lot of work to get on, but I want, wanted to do this to, for you because it's uh, it looks pretty great. Today's practice, you will need your comfy clothes and a mat. Luna thinks I still have treats. Many were given in order to get that hoodie on. I didn't throw in any props, but if you need some, feel free to grab some. Today's practice is just about having fun, cultivating some joy from your heart space as we close out the year, move into the holiday season. Sometimes things can be wicked crazy. So taking some time out for yourself so that you can feel joy for whatever it is you wanna feel joy for is very, very important. So get your stuff. Get some groovy vibes going, and I will see you on the mat. Hey there, friend. Okay, so we're gonna start in a seated position. You can sit crisscross applesauce, or you can take butterfly legs, whichever you prefer. Luna's made her two second appearance, and now she's off to go nap where it's warmer. It's freezing in this room today, and just like freezing outside in general. So today's practice, cultivate joy. Joy is something that we all need. It's um, it's kind of a big deal. So this practice is totally shaped around that. I want you to close your eyes and you can rest your hands in your lap or bring your left hand to the center of your chest, your heart space, and your right hand to your belly. We're just going to take three deep, full, intentional breaths to kick off the practice. So deep breath in through the nose. Dump it out the mouth. <sighs> yes. Two more this way. As you exhale, feel your body sink and settle, doing what you can to release any tension. Last breath. And now taking your left hand to your right knee, drop the right hand back behind your right hip and twist looking over off to your right. So today's, today's practice we're going to be twisting the spine and moving the spine in lots of different ways. It's your central axis, and so you want it to be clear. So we wanna like squish it and bend it and move it so that you can clear out any clutter so there's a clear pathway of connection between your head, your heart, your tummy, all that stuff. It's all connected via the vagus nerve, which is a whole different conversation we could have. But anyway, so the spine is responsible for a lot of communication. So when we move in different ways off of our central axis, it helps clear junk and free up communication lines. Take two more breaths in your twist. Carefully come back to center, switch sides, right hand top of the left knee, left hand drops back behind you. As you inhale, push the belly out, and as you exhale, pull the belly in to tone the abs a little bit. Today's practice, we're just gonna have some fun. Like I said, try to jazz up some joy for you. Two more breaths here. Come back to center, and now you're going to take your left leg out in front of you, and then cross your right foot over to the outside of the left knee, and then left elbow will come either on the top of your right knee or to the outside, right hands behind your right hip, and again, you'll look off to the right for Marici's pose. So we're just, like I said, trying to ring things out. Joy actually is uh, proven to boost your immune system. It can make you live longer. There's all kinds of cool stuff associated with joy. And joy and happiness aren't quite the same thing. Joy is a form of happiness. So you can uncross, take it to the other side, right leg's going long, left foot will come to the outside of the right knee, Right elbow will come either to the top of the left knee or to the outside, ooh, this side's tighter, <laughs> and then drop your right, or your left hand, drop your left hand behind your left hip, and your gaze will be off to the left now. But joy is something that we all need. Like I said, it can make you live longer, it drops your stress levels, and people that have large amounts of joy in their life 
are kinder, they're more successful, the list goes on and on and on. And joy is, it's like that extreme happiness, like you can feel it in your whole body. You have those people that like, I want to shout from the rooftops. That, that's what that feeling is. It's like this explosive happiness on steroids. You can uncross, and then we're going to take some rock and rolls into a, don't, we call these rock the boats. So we're just going to start rocking back and forth. And then on this roll up, come up to boat pose, hold your balance. If you wobble or fall, just have fun with it. It's totally fine. Don't take things too seriously, especially during this practice. Joy is a time to be silly and playful and just full of love and all of those good things. You can drop back and rock and roll. And sometimes it's hard to find, especially this time of year can get crazy, it's stressful, back up to your boat pose one more time. And the holidays can also be tricky. I've said that in these videos this month. Uh, my December has been a roller coaster. Like, I love Christmas, I love Christmas lights, I love the joy that comes with the holiday, but there's also some heavy things associated around just this time of year. Uh, and found out some tricky news over the weekend, so I'm just kind of like all over the place with my emotions, which is fine, like that's the human experience. You know, rock and roll. And so taking time for yourself to cultivate joy is a big deal. And it's something that you definitely deserve and need. Take one more roll and then come up to cat cows. Or to tabletop and then start your cat cows. So inhale, belly dropping, gaze going forward, exhale, push the ground away as you round your spine to the sky. And imagine your spine bending and flexing back and forth, clearing out any negative energy, anything that you don't need anymore. You're rolling it out of there, getting rid of it. Let's take two more cat cows. And drop to your tabletop. We're going to take gate pose today because it's super fun. So you're going to leave your left knee down, extend your right leg out to the right side of you, and you want your, you don't want the outside of your foot lifted. You want it pushed down into the floor as best you can. Once you're there, stand on this cool foundation you just made for gate pose. And your toes will point out slightly. Right hands come into the right leg. Inhale to take the left arm up and over, arcing off to the right to open up your left side body. Oh, it's so nice. My muscles are all kinds of funked up from uh, shoveling. So much shoveling. I don't know how much snow we got. I don't really want to know. <laughs> it was a lot, like over four feet. It was so much, which is fine. Now we have a white Christmas, so that's super perfect. Okay, so as you inhale next, you're going to drop the left hand down, reach the right arm up, and extend the right leg into the air in line with your hip for a variation of half moon pose. So spread your fingers, really get into your body, and again, just have some fun with this practice. Sometimes we're really hard on ourselves because we can't do something new or we can't do things a certain way. Have fun. Let that seriousness go and take some time for some silliness in uh, your inner child. Okay, so you're going to inhale back to gate pose. Stay for your exhale. We're going to move with these puppies. So inhale, back down you go to half moon. We'll set boat. Exhale. We're going to take this full range of motion one more time. Inhale, up you go. Exhale, drop. Oh, I guess I switched that up on you. Stay for your out breath here. Inhale, back up. And stay for your out breath. Drop back down to tabletop. And then switch sides, so extending the left leg out to the side of you, plant the foot down, point the toes up, stand up on that foundation. Once you're here, left hand to left leg, inhale, right hand's reaching up and over, right side's getting some love now. You run into those people that are just 
they're so stoked to be alive. Like they're just happy, happy people. And sometimes like it's a little eye rolly. Like you're like, oh, how's that person so happy? But they're full of so much joy. Like they're happy about being here. They're happy about what they're doing. And you don't always have to be that way. Uh, negative emotions are just as, I don't want to say important, but they're, they're, they're a part of our lives. Like you can't have the light without the dark. I say that all the time. But knowing when you need to make joy for yourself is really important and a step that needs to be prioritized. All right, drop into half moon variation, right hand to the mat, left arm coming up and the left leg's extending in line with the hip once again. And if your hip flexors are tight and you need to take a break from these, mine are kind of screaming right now, so do your thing, you know what you need and when you need to take a break. And there's no shame in taking a break, absolutely not, which is something I'm heavily working on, my goodness. All right, let's move into these motions. So inhale, back up to gate pose. Stay for your out breath. As you breathe in, come to half moon variation, stay for the out breath. And we'll take one more. Really extend that leg out and point the toe. Come back up to gate on the in breath. Stay for the out breath. And we'll shift back down to our tabletop. I'm gonna go this way. All right, step back to high plank. Oh, push your heels back behind you, reaching back behind you. Give those calves some juice. And now take your down dog. 